Madison in our studio audience, please log on to our website, thedoctorstv.com, or call area code 323 The Docs. That's 323 The Docs for show tickets. Yeah! Come on! Today we are talking about the sounds our bodies make, and this next one can be quite debilitating. That's not a teapot. Ooh. Ouch. That is tinnitus. Ringing you know, in the ears. Ringing Ooh. in the ears, actually different kinds of sounds. You know, we've all had ringing in the ears after a rock concert or being next to a firecracker, but this is different. This is something that's going on all the time. Actually, it's not a disease, it's a symptom. Typically, it's associated with hearing loss. And just to orient things here in the ear, you have the eardrum, the outer ear, you have the little bones on the inside of your ear, the ossicles, this thing that looks like a snail, the cochlea, that's the inner ear that processes sound. Typically, some type of injury, hearing loss, it can be a medication, affects that part you lose some hearing, the body in response to that forms a sound. So is there a treatment, Drew? Actually, there is a brand new treatment that is working very well, good results. It's called the Neuromonic Tinnitus Treatment Device. And what you're basically doing is masking the sound that you're hearing in your ear, that ringing sound, with a, with a more pleasurable, soothing sound, which I want you to hear. See, and what, what that sound does is masks that annoying sound that you don't want to, want to uh, hear. This treatment involves two phases. The first phase, you wear this for a couple months and you hear that music. You then, over that period of time, get a hearing test to determine where you've lost your hearing. Then they add a sound to this device that tells the brain that you're still able to hear that frequency and that helps the ring in your ears to go away. I know it's a little confusing, but if you have this problem, go see your ear, nose, and throat doctor or your audiologist. They know all about this device. There are millions of people suffering from this, but there is a good way to deal with it. So it sounds like it basically trains your brain to ignore the ringing. Yes, it retrains the brain by, by giving that sound. The brain <clears throat> no longer thinks that you have a hearing loss, huh. and therefore the ringing goes away. And there's no cure, but that's a pretty good treatment. Though, there is yes. no cure. Well, and again, we're, ta we're talking about chronic tendinitis, right, chronic, chronic ringing right. in Not just there's from a going to a rock you know, concert. Or from an acute infection. Or right, we're all going to have ringing in our ears occasionally, but this is something that's going on and on and on, not associated with other symptoms like dizziness or really severe hearing loss. I tell you, I'm, I've still got ringing in my ears having to listen to Drew rap earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to do it again? Uh, Actually, maybe you could make your own CD and people could listen to that. Talk about plastic that. surgery. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, iPods contribute to that at all? Well, like putting it up too loud? Well, sure. We know the things that can, that can cause ringing in the ears. It's certain medications, trauma to your ear. Absolutely, if you're around going to rock concerts, if you play your music really loud, that can give you a sensory neural hearing loss in turn, which can give you ringing in the ears. So best way is prevention, protect, right? Wait, we've talked about that, ears. protect those ears. Coming up next, the best way to deal with body sounds that you don't understand.